So in our first throwback video, we revisited NBA Live 15. A lot of you guys reminisced in the comments about how you felt about that game, whether you liked it, whether you disliked it. You know, it was good. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the same thing for NBA Live 16. Now, I played this game a ton. You guys can go ahead and check out my playlist. I have over 100 videos on NBA Live 16. I'll link the playlist in the description. You can also click on the top right. If you're completely bored out of your mind, feel free to go ahead and revisit that. I played quite a bit of NBA Live 16, especially the Rising Star mode. So one of the interesting things about the Rising Star mode was the skill progression, which is kind of surprising to me because this is way better than what NBA Live 19 has to offer in terms of skill progression because it's not tied to a few skills where in NBA Live 19 you kind of just level up your core skills whereas on NBA Live 16 as you can see you have rewards for upgrading random things random attributes like your shot close your three-point shot your free throw your shot off dribble right it's a lot more detailed in terms of what you can unlock as well right you got more jump shot jump shots attached to each uh attribute you can take everything up to a 99 overall so there was definitely a lot more depth in that which surprised me when i went back to it i'm like well you know what this is actually a lot better than what live 19 has to offer in that category so hopefully we see that kind of return on nba live 20. now let's jump into the gameplay like i said i haven't played this game quite a bit but i did play it a lot when it first came out trust me i literally built my channel on nba live 16 so we definitely put a lot of work into it. Now, one of the interesting things I see about NBA Live 16, I was about to say 19, about 16 is that they have that shot meter that actually gives you a percentage, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys, as always, leave your comments in the description below, whether you prefer to know what percentage your shot is going up at, or if you would rather know you got a green light and is going in regardless, right? Because on NBA Live 16, there was no green light. Right, it's a certain percentage you release at the top of your jump shot and you get a certain per percentage in terms of whether it's going to go in or not. On NBA Live 19, we don't see that percentage anymore. We only see that bar that gives you either a green light or early release, a late release. So leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think or what you guys prefer. Do you want to see that percentage pop up like right here? You see that I got a 48% chance. Thankfully, that 48% chance was more than enough to make that one. But like I said... Leave your comments in below, and let's have a discussion about this. Me, personally, I prefer the percentages. I'm okay with having green releases, but I like seeing how like the percent chance. Was it a good shot? Was it a bad shot? How does the percent get affected if somebody closes out? Things like that kind of interest me. So, I don't know. I don't know. If we get something like this on NBA Live 20, it would definitely be very nice. A nice addition to the game. So, with that being said, the gameplay on NBA Live 16. Personally, I think it's one of the better games that were released on this generation. I'm sure a lot of you guys actually agree with that. Believe it or not, a lot of people tend to think that Live 16 is the best, or if not one of the best, games that was released on this generation simply because the graphics were insane. Live 16's graphics, I believe, are the best graphics we've had on this generation. Along with that, there wasn't really any canned animations. You could just kind of do whatever you want. Look at this dunk, though. Look at this. Take a look at this one more time. A little pump fake. Let me drive through him. Even my Xbox One was like, bro, that was crazy. Let me go ahead and record that. That was wild. Cool with me, man. That's a nice little highlight finish right there. We're not exactly trying to win this game. You know, I'm just messing around, putting up shots and seeing exactly what happens. But 58% on that shot, that's looking good. That was definitely going in. So like I said, leave your comments below. Let's have a discussion. Where do you guys rank NBA Live 16 in terms of standing in this console generation all right for me let me give you my top five real quick actually there was only like six of them released so i don't i think there was only five of them released but at the bottom of the list is definitely nba live 14 that was, that was you know listen let's not talk about that game live 14 was the worst for me um nba live 15 comes up next live 15 is a decent game like don't get me wrong the animations were very herky jerky though so that's where it is on my list NBA Live 19 is third for me simply because of the canned animations. The canned animations for rebounds, for shots, for blocks, for layups, for steals. Guys, it's almost 2020. It's almost 2020. We got to get rid of those canned animations. Next up is NBA Live 
18 and then followed by NBA Live 16. I do think NBA Live 16 is definitely the best one we've had. It's close between Live 16 and Live 18. Live 18 was good as well, didn't have as many canon animations either, so it's definitely up there for me. It might even be a tie, right? It might even be a tie for me between Live 18 and 16, uh, between which one was better this generation. So let's see what NBA Live 20 is going to be offering for us this upcoming year. I'm very excited to get my hands on it. I'm very excited. Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. We're going to have Live 20, 2K20, and Madden 20 gameplay on the way. Once again, I will see you guys in the next one.